Hi, this is Karthik from Fisherman Training Institute, Salala Oman. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I am going to teach you how to generate reports in Microsoft Access 2010. Once again, I repeat the topic: how to generate reports in Microsoft Access 2010. In order to achieve this task, we should open Microsoft Access 2010. How to open Microsoft Access 2010? It's quite simple. Go to Start, go to All Program, and go to Microsoft Office, where I can able to find Microsoft Access 2010. Just click on Microsoft Access 2010 in order to open it. Whenever you open Microsoft Access 2010, it will take you to a view called as Backstage View. The entire view is called as Backstage View. By default, New and Blank Database Options are selected. And all the work you did will be stored in the default location in My Document. I wish to change the location. How to change the location? So where you can able to see the icon called as Browse icon, and just click Browse icon in order to generate file new database dialog box where you can able to navigate through the different place in your system. So I'm going to navigate to desktop. I'm going to create a new folder. Let us say reports. And click open in order to open the folder. And provide a database name. Let us say report and click OK and click create in order to create a database whenever you click create icon it will generate the database and a default table called table 1 either you can navigate to, through create tab and use table in order to create a table or else you can use table 1 in order to create a table now I'm going to reuse the table 1 so select the table 1 go to home I can able to find view just click view and switch to design view whenever you switch to design view for first time it will ask for the table name provide the table name let us say student DB. click OK and by default the first row will be assigned with primary key and field name will be ID and data type will be auto number. You can able to change it. Now I'm going to change it as a student ID and it is going to be number let us say student ID and let us say student name and uh, anyway name is going to be yeah text good it's a student name and next comes the English mark it's going to be number let us say English marks and next is Mac it's going to be number let us say Mac marks and IT it's going to be number data type and IT marks now we want to calculate the total how to calculate the total so total is going to be English plus math plus IT so in case of data type use calculator in order to do this and here this expression builder you just type English plus math plus IT and click OK so now total equal to English plus math plus ID ok and let us say average average anyway is going to be total divided by number of subject so the total is English plus max plus IT how many subject three subjects so again use calculator let us say average is total divided by three 
and pick up me. And now average equal to total divided by 3. And save all the information and process. Now double click this table in order to enter the value. Let us say 1. Let us say student name. Enter the English marks. Max and IT. Use the tab so automatically the total and average will be calculated. And second, enter the values so automatically the total and average will be calculated. So, see, so now I plan to enter five records. It, there is no need you want to enter the same value what I'm using right here you can use the values as you like use the tab to uh, to navigate to next column and okay now save this information okay now the information is ready now how to generate a report okay so select the table go to create where you can able to find report wizard okay once again i repeat ensure that the table has been selected first and navigate to create tab where you can able to find report wizard you just click on report wizard so when you click on the report wizard the report wizard dialog box will be opened where you can able to find table and queries so here is a table name and here is a list of available fields either you can select the field you can insert either you can select okay I need this select the field insert or else if I want to insert all the fields at once you can use this okay I want to remove this IT marks you just remove it if you wish to remove all the fields at a single stretch at once use this option now I wish to add all the available fields and click next and uh, click next so now if you want to sort for example I want to sort the IT marks in and and I want to sort max marks listen like this you can able to do for all the fees and next and either column can able to see the layout or tabular or justified I'm going to use tabular and next and let us say the name report one and finish now the report has been generated if you wish to edit the report close the preview now this is your design view where you can able to edit all the details okay and select and you can edit the details as you like so I'm going to do some small changes okay select the fields now I'm going to select this fields select all the fields at a single stretch and go to home let us see select alignment and make it bold and change the font to look antiqua font size is 12 and then save it and just double click in order to view okay Now again switch to design view okay now you can able to change the property for example I need the student ID first okay you can able to navigate this and select this and move it around and now I need student name so just select this and move it around ok 
okay and now select the Mac and move it around and like this you can do the changes as you like there is no need you want to do the same okay now it's fine now it's fine now I want to edit the header let us say fisherman training instead Salala. Now I want to change the font. Just select the text, go to home and make it bold and make it center alignment and select the text, change the font and font size. And now double click in order to view it. Okay, fine. See now the see the ID because it has been sorted. Okay, now I'm going to create one more report. Just select the student and go to create and go to report wizard in order to create a new report. This time I'm going to use student ID first and student name and only the total. Next, next. So nothing I'm going to use it. Next. I'm going to use uh, let us say column next let us say um, report report 2 and finish so you see the report has been generated and it can switch to design view and you can edit it as you like for example the student ID and student name okay then I'm going to decrease the size of the student name I'm going to select this I'm going to move it around And I'm going to select the fields, go to home, I need to fill some colors and I'm going to change the font color and let us say change the font and font size. And now save the information and double click in order to wave it. So now I'll see your information is correct. Again, I'm going to create one more report. So first select the table and then go to create and go to report wizard and this time select all the fields and next. Okay. And next. See if you want to move it or you can move it. Next. Next and this time justified next and let us say report 3 finish and double click this in order to view the report now you can able to see the report and if you wish to edit it right click switch to design view in order to edit it you can do the changes as you like as shown before and save it this is how you want to generate the report and you want to edit the report as well as you can able to do the changes in the report i think you guys have enjoyed this video thanks for watching this video thank